Hi folks, here we have a very special late 2003 Toyota Prado Grande. This was the top of the line Prado. And shy of the Land Cruiser Sahara was Toyota's most expensive model in Australia. This example has lived at Karingai and has perfect Phil McCarroll Toyota service history from new. And it's only done 67,000 kilometers. So it would be the lowest on the market. And we're very pleased to offer it to you. It's got all the luxury trimmings, many of which you find in the Sahara and the LX470. But it's a little bit smaller and more manageable for around town. It is a seven seater, as you can see. I've got the roof racks stored back here. Wireless headsets for the info multimedia entertainment system on the roof so the kids can watch movies and that's the uh, tow ball cover. The Prado mounts the spare wheel on the back here to allow you more ground clearance, ingress and egress when going off road so you don't scrape it on the bottom. I do have the suspension set in the lowest setting at the moment. It is electronically adjustable should you need to clear some serious objects. This is a proper four wheel drive. It has a low range transfer case and a centre diff lock. I've also got reverse parking sensors back here, as you can see. And I've also got a rear view camera right up there. We've got the navigation. It's the four litre V6. Doesn't even look like it's been sat in back here. I certainly don't think it's had children. Rear air. Rear entertainment, beautiful leather. Just look at it, it's in excellent order. Cup holders here. Walnut trim. And this beautiful champagne gold. Power front passenger. I'll go through all the features on the other side. Just wanted to give you a complete once around. We've got good Toyo open country tyres on it. And it just presents very nicely. It, it, to me, it doesn't look like it's 13 years old. And here at the Old Timer Centre, we pride ourselves on finding the best available on the market at the present time. We do not take auction cars. We source everything through our connections and our dealer network. So you always know you're getting the best you can get at that stage in the market. Sitting up here I'm nice and high, got a great view and I'm only on the lowest setting so I'll turn her on. I love these electroluminescent gauges. I'm instantly hit with beautiful cold air conditioning. So as you can see we've got 67,582 original kilometers. navigation. Here we are at Illawarra Road in Marrickville. Dual zone climate control. Down here we've got our ride height control and our suspension control. So we can firm up the ride, soften the ride. We can also raise the ride height which I'm going to do right now. So when I get out I'll show you the vehicle is sitting a lot higher. Over here we have our center diff lock, power outlets, low range gearbox, and your normal conventional automatic. Special treat in the glove box, we've got the cool box. So you put your drinks in there and they're nice and chilly when you want them. Compass and all the settings up there. Obviously it's not using 99.9 .9 liters per 100 kilometers. I hit the reset button and I haven't driven it since I hit that. Probably around town you're probably averaging about 12 to 14. Out on the highway, you'd probably drop down to about nine. It is a big car, but it's not thirsty. It certainly gets better than the Land Cruiser. It'll get better than my Jeep Wrangler. And it's pretty economical when you're light on the throttle. I'm gonna shut her down now. And I'm gonna pop the hood for you. We do have four factory keys, which is nice. Two with remotes and uh, a valet key and a spare. So I've just noticed on the windscreen these people have 
Karingo Motor Yacht Club tags and an All Parks Pass tag. So they obviously like to get away in the car, but they didn't do many Ks on it. Well respected North Shore family, I'm sure. And the condition of the car echoes that. Look at it under here, it's like brand new. Very recent battery, I'd say. Can't see a date on it, but uh, it looks brand new. And the engine certainly doesn't look 13 years old. That's a new oil filter there. All the lining's intact. No hint of red dirt or off-roading here. It's uh, definitely been a city car. It's just too clean under there. And we haven't even washed it. Came in like this. So as you can see, I've got the suspension raised and uh, she's sitting quite a bit higher. If you're after Prado, don't go and buy a new one. 67,000 Ks is barely broken in for these. It doesn't look 13 years old, it looks four or five max. It's in very good order. It's not perfect. It's got a few tiny marks, but they're not even noticeable. They're not gonna show up on the camera. And the paint works really, overall, very, very good. We're the old time center, we specialize in luxury vehicles. Normally we do European four wheel drives, but being a grande and the best that was on offer, we were very happy to take this on. You can find us on www.old.com.au, all our contact details are there. If you're interested in this vehicle, we'd love to hear from you. So that's our 2003 Toyota Prado Grande.